through the new record Visitant track by track. Now, this album is uh, a bit of a departure in terms of lyrical content and theme than some of the older Arxis records. In the past, um, all the lyrics were super deeply personal and perhaps a little bit on the self loathing side of things, but uh, this record I uh, chose to write about horror movies. And I, I've been contemplating a lot like why I chose to go that route, and I think probably the main reason is um, I lost more than my hair this year, actually. I, I lost my father. And it's something that we knew was coming for quite a while. And I think horror movies are there to help us um, process situations and emotions that maybe are a little too heavy for us to like really deal with in reality. So, um, you know, given that situation, I think that's that's where my mind chose to wander where it did for for the inspiration for this album. Um, first up on the record is a song called Tricking the Gods, and it's inspired by probably the first real horror movie that I remember seeing in vivid detail, uh, Stephen King's Silver Bullets. Now, in this film, um, which stars a very young uh, Corey Haim and a pre-motorcycle accident Gary Busey, uh, a werewolf is terrorizing a small New England town, and at the end of the, the story it ends up being the local minister. Um, I'm going to spare you all the details. Uh, you should check out the movie if you haven't done so already. Um, now, with, with lyrics, I choose to take like a, a very vague approach to, um, to lyric writing. I'm not necessarily like trying to tell a story. I'm more inspired by, by images and um, just like different wordplay, uh, more so than actually like really trying to tell like a, a detailed story about anything. Um, so in the lyrics to Tricking the God, there's a, a lot of references to like the night being like a, a satanic mass. And then um, there's also a lot of references to um, to the fatal, let's call it that. And, um, to me, like something being fatal in, in the sense of, of the lyrics. And this is a theme that actually like reoccurs throughout the record. Um, I'm using it as like a synonym for human, actually. So in the song Tricking the Gods, like the last line of the chorus is they're beyond the fatal, meaning that they're beyond human, they're tricking the gods, they're werewolves, don't trust them. And uh, there's actually, we shot a video to go along with uh, with the song and it might feature the guy behind me, maybe, sort of, kind of. It's a fun, fun video. And uh, yeah, you guys check it out. Track two on the record is a song called Hellsworn. Now this song uh, was inspired by a mid-2000s horror movie by the name of Grave Dancers. Um, in, in this film, a group of college friends are mourning the loss of one of their peers. Uh, they go to a cemetery late at night. They're drinking, they find some poetry. Decide it's a good idea to read this poetry and uh, dance on some graves. And inadvertently end up performing an incantation which summons the spirits of some of the town's undesirables who proceed to torment and kill them over the course of a month. Now, to uh, conjure up this idea of dancing and the music, I chose to start the, the song with a really quick 3-4 feel, which, uh, if you know music at all, most waltzes are, are in 3-4, and then it descends into madness from there. Uh, so, yeah. on the record is a song called Easy Prey. It's inspired by a mid-80s horror movie called From Beyond. It's an adaption of an H.P. Lovecraft story in which a group of scientists are uh, developing a device that will open a door into another dimension. And this device looks very similar to two huge tuning forks. And it's meant to stimulate the penal gland, which they believe is the third eye, and thus allowing them access into this other dimension. Now, after I completed the music for, for this song, it's, um, it's got a lot of interesting breaks in it. It's got a lot of interesting uh, tonal choices. And um, it, to me, it just definitely created the same vibe that you get from the film as far as uh, just the sheer chaos and, and strangeness of it all. Um, uh, very uneasy. So um, that's why it, it 
chose this as inspiration, and honestly, this film is probably more famous for its tagline than anything else, and that tagline is, humans are such easy prey.